What's going on you guys? Lit Man Tuck is coming back at you with another book review and I am still on this Pocket FM radio. Uh, recently I did uh, two videos on Insta Millionaire and in those two videos I got more views than my whole channel ever the whole time I've been. But that's a whole other story but it shows that you guys are interested in it. I'm interested in it and it totally caught me by surprise. So today I'm going to talk about books that are very similar to Insta Millionaire. And if you like that one, I think you'll like it too, whether you've seen the whole book or whether you've listened to the whole book or whether you are waiting on more coins or waiting on more episodes to come out. You have, have other books very similar to it. So the first one is The Greenback Boogie. The Greenback Boogie, I don't know where to get these names from, but it sucked me in and I tried it out. And here's a reason, another reason why I'm recommending these books because after you do Insta Millionaire, it recommended me to some other books and they were pure garbage. I was like, what the hell is this? This is a waste of time. All these books are going to be garbage. Is there anything else like Alex being broke and then all of a sudden being infused with millions and billions of dollars? And these are some other books that do that. So the Greenback Boogie, the main character is Elliot. Same concept. He starts out broke. He's trying to holler at this girl. She breaks up with him savagely and then he comes back with millions and billions of dollars. Another one is called Invisible Billionaire, where the main character is George Rudd. Now, both of these characters are pretty, you know, it's pretty good. It's, it's a lot like Insta Millionaire. I will say I've, I've gotten deep into Insta Millionaire. I'm like on episode 120 now. I'm waiting on more episodes to come in. And I will tell you that Alex is way more of a savage and a beast than both of these guys. Like if you're only on episode 15 on Insta Millionaire, just wait. It gets better. Like he, it, like he starts developing. Um, now, here are some other recommendations that I have that is not like the instant millionaire. It's not like, oh, I'm getting infused with a billion dollars. It's more, it's more fantasy or more martial arts. One is called God Eye. It is straight up heat. It's straight fire. If you like that kind of stuff, if you listen to a lot of uh, fantasy, or if you like uh, like lit RPG game lit, um, it starts. It's a martial artist, and he's not very strong. But then he gets this power in one of his eyes where he can kind of see people. He can see people's moves, um, you know, before they started. It reminds me almost of a anime character, but it also gives him extra strength. And so he starts training, and his power level is going up really fast. And he's basically whipping people, man. He's whipping people left and right. And I was so mad when I ran out of episodes on that one. Another one is Vampire's Destiny. Do not let the name fool you. Don't let the cover fool you. It is straight up. It's more heat. All right, I'm telling you. Try that one out. And one that I recently saw today that, that it has a promising start. Because some of these things start out really slow. This one is not started out slow. It is called The Mercenary of Emerald City. So check those out. And I'm going to write it in the description below. That way you can just kind of copy paste. Um, one of the big things about Pocket FM, everybody been talking about, man, how do I read these without using more coins? How do I do this without spending money? And the way to do it is to bounce around, like find a rotation of good books and bounce around and read those. Because you're only going to get like 20 minutes a day. You're only going to get two episodes per day. Uh, but also, man, get a life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you don't want to you don't want to be trying to listen to stuff. If you find yourself running out of episodes like all the time every day, it's like, man, you need some other stuff to do. You know, think about it. If, you, if you're rotating a good three or four books around, that gives you almost a good two hours a day, a good hour and a half a day. Outside of that, you shouldn't need more. Now, I know these things are addictive. I know that, you know, hooking. And when I tell you to get a life, I'm telling myself to get a life as well. So I'm not just calling you losers. I'm a loser too. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but anyway, after this, I'm going to listen to my uh, Insta Millionaire rotate through my books, and then I'll get to work, and I'll wait till tomorrow. But I do have uh, further reviews that I want to do on those three books. God, I, uh, what else? Hold on, let me bring it back up. Because these names are, sometimes these names are confusing. And this stuff is obviously translated. So God, I, God's Eye of, Van, of Vampire's Destiny and The Mercenary of Emerald City. So I have reviews coming up for that. And I also have another review coming up where it's the, out of all these, out of all these books, the translation is horrible, but it's comedic gold at the same time. I mean, some of the tra anyway. I'll get back to you, man. But check out those books. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.